period piece. I was really um, taken aback when I realized that it was going to be set in this era, but they really did a great um, job. But uh, going back to your question, what uh, who was my favorite character or my favorite story? I'm going to say Dakota Johnson's Emily Summers fucking ruled. She was a total, yeah. total badass, very mysterious. Um, it's funny because you, you, at first you think that she's just kind of a villain and she's kidnapped somebody, but then it ends up being her, her little sister who is, I don't know w w what's wrong with her sister. If she's, yeah. um, you know, she's got something going on, which is why she was tied up the way that she was. And you can tell with the conflict that happens with John Hamm's character that she's not, you know, she's not normal, I would say. Um, yeah, she's not messing around. Uh, but yeah, Emily, I would say she was my favorite, man. And um, yeah. You, you you see in the beginning or well, in her flashback that um, her her that she they uh, her and Rose both they uh, have a drunk uh, father an alcoholic father who who I was assuming uh, was uh, molesting Rose or or Emily or both of them and that's why she was uh, as a child she was taking uh, Rose out of her room and telling her to hide under her bed and no matter what you hear or what you see. Don't ever come out, um, and I, I think that uh, uh, being the older sister or older sibling, she was kind of just taking the brunt of of her father's uh, physical abuse uh, in order to spare her. And I think that kind of that may have uh, traumatized Rose in in a way to make her kind of fall, you know, fall for Billy Lee and his uh, you know manipulative ways. Yeah, that's um, that's usually how it goes, you know, is that um, Billy Lee, like that kind of character or that person just in general is going to latch on to uh, weaker types or people who are just vulnerable because of the things that they've been through uh, in, in, you know, in, in their lifetime up until yeah. whatever point. So it makes sense. Um for them to to be kind of running away from their situation uh, i will say that and this is a spoiler alert if you're listening to this <laughs> hopefully you've already seen the movie or you know you know to to an extent of, of what we're talking about but i really didn't like the angle that they went with um killing emily or, or dakota johnson's uh character yeah it felt uh kind of wasted almost yeah like, um like oh that was quick and then and then there's no you don't really get closure on it or anything i think because rose has no sympathy for her sister because she's so brainwashed and you don't get that type of emotional um pull on you um i don't know if it was just because Maybe we needed more time with her, but I thought we had a good amount of time. I just thought the death was kind of like like you're uh, you're stating was kind of uncalled for, or uh, or I, it I, felt rushed. I knew I I think that they were counting on us feeling like she was safe, and they wanted to pull the rug out from under us, which they did to the to to Drew's uh, credit. They they did that was definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, you know, and it's, uh, I guess that's the whole point of the, them playing, what is the blackjack? The, yeah. With the markers, um, the red or black. Yeah. And when he fires on her, I was like, there's no way that she's actually dead. But then she, you know, they, she, she does, she dies. I was like, man. Yeah. I, I thought there would have been like a little chance because just the the exit wound because you can see it when she falls down you see the exit wound and it was kind of like shoulder blade area yeah i'm like oh that could be like a you could live with that i mean i'm assuming you know i just from movies that i've watched and stuff i'm like oh, i mean 
she could live, you know, I was, that's what I was, I, I was thought she was going to pop up sometime towards the end and, and save somebody or do something. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like, wow. Okay. So I guess, uh, I think that was a way just to show the stakes also because, um, Billy Lee, uh, he says, Oh yeah, everybody is going to get all antsy now that then that they know we mean business. It was, uh, it, it felt like, um, kind of like what they did for the new scream and we won't say exactly what I'm talking about, but you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, you have to do certain things to make the danger feel real but it was uh sad for me uh to see to go to go the way that she did because it wasn't it was just kind of out of nowhere and uh you know and then like you said there's no real closure with that and i was like man this was like one of the better stories and you guys just kind of dropped the ball a little bit here um and they make you really hate rose just because <laughs> You know, uh, I mean, it's not her fault, but it's like, you know, she's brainwashed and she's kind of, you know, in that, and, you know, she's stuck on Billy Lee. And uh, I, it, it, towards the end, I'm like, just shoot her. Just shoot her. You know, get it over with. Like, yeah, she every, doesn't care. She's, yeah, everybody's she's a horrible person now. Everybody's just continues to give her way too many chances. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have. That's why I felt I, I'm, I'm in my head. I'm like, Lou, I'm, I'm Miles. You know, don't, don't. In my, head, it's like, you know, she's crazy, and you, ba you killed the guy that she loves. And why would you like just creep up to her and then try to give her like a hug or console her about? Oh, I'm sorry, I killed your boyfriend. Of course, she's gonna stab you in the stomach. And then the way she does it is so vicious. I think it, it it was to show the compassion that he had. Like, yeah, he was a hardened war veteran, which we don't ever get to know until, you know, those final few minutes. But then it was to show, like, that he's realized what he had done and he felt bad. Um, yeah. And then, uh, unfortunately, he was just in that personal space bubble that allowed him to yeah. be vulnerable and she literally like disembowels the guy pretty much <laughs> to the point where yeah. you know they they ask uh what's um father flynn father flynn is that a is that a uh um a, a tron reference it is? That, yeah because his last name is flynn in tron <laughs> When they when I, I totally forgot that when I was rewatching it yesterday, I was like, "What? Are you kidding me? Like, no way they they did this had to have been like on purpose." Yeah, yeah, no way. That's a yeah, that's a little tip of the hat for sure. Yeah, especially because that's not even his. Uh, that's just a made up. Like he's just pretending <laughs> yeah. to be a priest. Yeah, that's his. Time. That's his character. You know, that's his his persona. He made up to uh, be a priest. Um. Yeah, I, uh, there's one scene that I really loved in particular because uh, uh, Darlene, she, uh, uh, Billy Lee is kind of like you know, sing and I and I won't I won't make you play the game, and then she's like, no, I'm not going to sing for you, and then um, uh, he he tries to go on this spiel about how like he you know he's one of those like narcissistic narcissistic guys who's you know those uh, cult leader type people who they just love to hear they the way they sound, love to hear the sound of their own voice. And he, he's, go, he's attempting to go on this, uh, uh, story or something to just to show, uh, his dominance or something. And then she cuts him off. She's like, no, I don't care. I've heard it before. And then you kind of see, like, he almost looks defeated. Uh, Chris Hemsworth character, Billy Lee, um, that she's not buying into, uh, his bullshit or, you know, his, his story that he, uh, that, you know, that he, he plays with all these people, um, his power, he doesn't have power over her. So you can tell that he kind of gets like pissed off. Yep. But, uh, he doesn't necessarily let her know that until, uh, further down the line towards the end when, when she's like, you know, going back to what you said, that he, he's like, you know, I'll give you a chance to not play the game if you sing for me and if I think you're good enough. So then she does it, and then she's like killing it, 
and he oh, yeah. and he gets super upset stops her looks back at her super cold and is just like i've heard better and at that point this yeah. huge like kind of um final like fight scene erupts where flynn or jeff bridges like attacks uh lee and then like uh, and uh father flynn uh he's got some moves on him man he almost takes uh billy lee out with the with the head but like from the from the gut from the get-go i mean it's jeff bridges man come on <laughs> yes it's the dude it's like and nobody's seen true grit this guy's cr- <laughs> this guy's crazy yeah. <laughs> yeah uh one thing that made me uh, uh i really like uh, jeff bridges character because he um you find out that you know he's a bank robber and and his brother had hid money in one of the rooms and that's why he was there to collect on his uh on their on their bounty um but he has uh dementia and it's uh hereditary i i i didn't know that was i didn't know that dementia or i think they said it was dementia um was hereditary because i know he said that his mom had it and her father had it and um i think the doctor ends up saying like you know you you have a little bit more than six months basically is what he tells him before he's kind of unable to take care of himself anymore. And um, there's scenes where he he kind of, you can see that he's forgetting uh, certain things, like why he's there at the hotel. In the, like in the beginning of the movie, he doesn't remember. He kind of looks lost. There's another scene where he forgets his name. Uh, Billy Lee tells him, he's like, oh, I want to know your name so I can look this shit up and, and to see if you're telling the truth. And he go he attempts to tell him his name, and then he you can see he's kind of thinking about it, and then uh, almost embarrassed because he can't remember his name. And then he looks at Darlene and tells her, you know, did I ever tell you my real name? And she's like, no, you didn't. Um, but that's something that my my uh, my grandpa doesn't have dementia, but uh, he has ha- he had strokes uh, in the past years ago. When I was a little kid, and it had messed with his memory, so every once in a while he'll have like a little spout of it's only for like fifteen twenty seconds, um, where he kind of doesn't know where he is. So that's something that was kind of it hit home for me. I was like, oh man, like I've seen that look on my grandpa, and it's a scary thing to see uh, someone kind of like. He doesn't freak out or anything, but you can tell he doesn't know where he is. So uh, that was something super relatable that uh, with Jeff Bridges' character that I could I could see like, oh man, that's uh, that's uh, that's just like what my 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 what my grandpa has. Or he doesn't have dementia, but he uh, kind of like symptoms like that. But um, I'm glad that he uh, he you know they get their uh, they get their bounty and uh, or their uh, what they stole in the. Um, from robbing the bank and uh darlene even gets to uh was she singing in reno is that where she was yeah i believe so i really like the the theme i feel like it's trying to tackle um a couple of 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 themes like maybe like good versus bad you know and i feel like they kind of foreshadow that with the um the El Royale, the actual hotel being built on like the border where like half of the building is literally in California and half of the building is technically in uh, Nevada and they play off of yeah. that. In very- I love I love Miles's little like spiel that he has in the beginning. Uh, it's funny he does it every time someone comes into the into the lobby. He opens up his little um you know the to get out of the out of the front desk and this like music comes on it's like ding, ding, ding. and he's like welcome to the el royale <laughs> like where you can enjoy the sunny mountains of california or the uh the, you know nevada or whatever and he's <laughs> i thought it was just funny that uh every and like he he does it like on a cue when especially when like uh emily comes in because all three of the the three the first three main characters they're there just standing there They've already gotten the welcome to the El Royale thing. And then Dakota comes in and then he comes out and he's like, oh, welcome, welcome. And then he does the same exact thing. Which I thought was funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then um, 
um, we kind of skip over a little bit of the um, 